All right, in number eight, our consensus, uh, number eight running back, Aaron Jones of the Packers. I've got him the lowest at number 10. Jason has him at nine. Mike at seven. I'm weary. I'm worried. Uh, the franchise record, 23 touchdowns in 18 games, including the playoffs. Obviously, those touchdown numbers were outlandish. 16 on the ground last year. No doubt that Aaron Jones is a great dynamic player, but the way he put up this number two overall finish was not the way that you know Christian McCaffrey, Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook put up their seasons. You had weeks, weeks one, six, nine, 12, 13, where he was outside the top 36. And then you had other weeks that he absolutely smashed in one new weeks. Um, number two overall in week two, number one in week five, number one in week eight, number two in week 14. You know, the Aaron Jones experience overall was very good, but you did have a different kind of production that was very touchdown dependent. Uh, only 236 carries in 16 games. So I have him a little bit lower, expecting those touchdown totals to come down a little bit. Uh, you know, the, the dynamics of this Green Bay offense, the trend of that Green Bay offense, I'm curious about where it's going to head. So I'm a little more leery than you are, Mike. Talk to me why you have him at seven. Sure. Compared so, to some of these other players. So I, I went in, when we were doing our overreaction show, I actually went in with the, the mindset of, okay, I'm going to disprove Aaron Jones and say why you shouldn't spend a really high pick on him. And then after going through all the research that I ended up looking at, it was, I think that Aaron Jones can pretty much repeat what he did, especially what seems crazy. He can repeat in the in the area of touchdowns. Like he had 13 attempts inside the five. Like they were he was a trusted goal line running back. He turned those into eight touchdowns, which that's he had, that's basically the same touchdown success rate as Dalvin Cook. It's a lower percentage than Zeke. It's lower than Derrick Henry. So it wasn't like he went in there and every single time he touched the ball inside the five, it turned into a touchdown. Like, but he also has he has the advantage of Aaron Rodgers where defenses have to be concerned inside the five that Aaron Rodgers is going to throw the ball and because that's what he's done his entire career is is it just pile up touchdowns inside the five. So I believe that Aaron Jones will continue to be the goal line back and, and have great success there. So it's I, I don't have him you know inside the where he finished last year or anywhere close to it, but I think that he can repeat as a very successful Still have some of those inconsistent games, which is why I have him down at, at seven. But I believe Aaron Jones is still going to be very, very good. Uh, yeah, m my worry is uh, you bring up the the inconsistent games. He had games where he just flat disappeared. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's weird for the running back to... Very weird, yes. To have, you know, he here's Aaron Jones. Week one, he was the 52nd best running back. Week nine, he was the 45th. 12 and 13, 44th and 45th, uh, you know, at the position. But he finished number two. That's because he had a couple monstrous games, those three touchdown, four touchdown type of games that really inflate the numbers. I think Aaron Jones is extremely talented, but he's on a team that does not want to make him the guy. They want to make him an efficient back who has the, you know, the, the larger part of the running back by committee. But I wouldn't be surprised if Matt LaFleur brings in another running back. He has Didn't said he have so. a quote? Yeah, yeah at he, the combine. Yeah, he's he said he, you know he he wants e uh, another back to come in and and help split the load. He's not all about giving Aaron Jones the work. And so for a guy that is 15th in carries, while being 14th in yards per carry, so he's not like this crazy, you know, uber efficient, you know, r run the ball 5.9 yards a carry type of guy. Those are good numbers. They're not bad. I mean, top 15. Uh, but not running back two, not running back five. So, uh, you know, I think where I've got him at running back nine um, says he'll probably have a few more touchdown opportunities still than your average player who is down at like, f you know, 15th in volume. But his volume is still too low for me to really trust him. And the touchdowns were just, you know, you, you talk about his opportunities inside the five could be repeatable. They could be. But that means that the touchdowns that came outside the five, almost yeah, certainly not repeatable. Yeah. Hey, want to have a cup of coffee with me? Click subscribe. We'll hang out. We'll do it together. Make your team the best.